Just like Edge and Beth Phoenix, several real-life couples in WWE have teamed up together to face their opponents. I'm Emily May, and here are five best WWE couples matches. Number five, Edge and Beth Phoenix versus The Miz and Maurice. After Edge came out of retirement and made his WWE return at the 2020 Royal Rumble, it allowed him to compete in never-before-seen dream matches. One of them was when he teamed up with his real-life wife, Beth Phoenix, to take on The Miz and Maurice in a mixed tag team match. The Miz agreed to face the two of them in a mixed tag match after accepting Edge and Phoenix's challenge on the January 3rd episode of Raw. The match then took place at the 2022 Royal Rumble, which the company billed as a battle between the Grit Couple and the it couple. During the match, Miz and Maurice tried their best to defeat the Hall of Famers with their heel antics. But in the end, the Grit Couple prevailed. The Rated R Superstar and the Glamazon performed a double spear and a pair of Glam Slams on their opponents to win the match. Number 4, Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch versus Baron Corbin and Lacey Evans. After news of their relationship became public in May 2019, Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch teamed up in WWE for a couple of matches. Their most prominent mixed tag team match came at 2019 edition of the Extreme Rules Premium Live event. In the main event, Rollins and Lynch defended their respective Universal and Raw Women's titles in a last chance winners take all Extreme Rules match. Their opponents for the night were Baron Corbin and Lacey Evans. The match has since become memorable for the spot involving Lynch and Corbin where the latter hit the man with the end of days. This led to a furious Rollins going all out on Corbin with kendo sticks and steel chairs. Rollins then sealed the deal with three stomps and picked up the win to retain both his and Lynch's titles. Number three, Sable and Mark Mero versus Goldust and Luna Vachon. Mark Mero and Sable, who were then a married couple in real life, were paired up in storyline during WWE's Attitude Era. The story arc began when Mero became Came jealous of his Playboy cover gracing wife receiving a lot of attention. He even covered her up when she was wearing revealing clothes in front of the WWE Universe. Mero and Sable got involved with Goldust and his valet Luna Vachon on Raw. However, things got heated between Luna and Sable, which eventually led to Mero coming to odds with the bizarre one. Sable and Mero then teamed up together at WrestleMania 14 to take on the duo of Goldust and Luna in a mixed tag team match. The couple ended up picking up the victory thanks to Sable, who used her partner. TKO move to claim the win. Sable gained even more popularity with the fans as a result of her performance in this match. Number two, Johnny Gargano and Candice LeRae versus Keith Lee and Mia Yim. During his time on WWE NXT, current AEW star Keith Lee and his then girlfriend Mia Yim got involved in a tense rivalry with Johnny Gargano and Candice LeRae, another real life couple. To settle the score once and for all, both couples faced off each other against in a mixed tag team match on June 3rd, 2020 episode of The Black and gold brand. Lee and Yim were the baby face couple and the Garganos were the heels. After Gargano gouged Lee's eyes with a key, LeRae was able to pick up the win by rolling up a distracted Yim who was concerned for her boyfriend. The match was entertaining and it also helped progress the storyline between Gargano and Lee who were feuding with each other for the latter's NXT North American title. Number one, Triple H and Stephanie McMahon versus Kurt Angle and Ronda Rousey. One of the biggest feuds heading into WrestleMania 34 was between Ronda Rousey and the power couple Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. While Stephanie has competed inside the squared circle before, this was her first taste of in-ring action on the show of shows. While the billion dollar princess teamed up with her husband Triple H, Rousey chose WWE legend Kurt Angle to be her partner in her WWE debut match. During the match, the power couple kept control for the first half with their usual heel shenanigans. However, despite their efforts, it wasn't enough to keep Rousey down. In the and the baddest woman on the planet forced Stephanie to submit to the armbar to pick up the win. Even though Hunter and Stephanie suffered a loss, they were able to make Rhonda shine in her debut match. 